What's up foodies? I appreciate you guys' love uh, for the butter chicken recipe. Now for today's recipe, it's going to be part one uh, for the for the series of two, uh, two dishes that I'm going to make for you. To start with, I'm going to be making you guys uh, some uh, uh, chili paneer and uh, once we're done with chili paneer, in the next video what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make you some chili chicken. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the recipe for you. Alright guys, so for today's recipe, we're also going to make one pan recipe. Uh, so what we're going to do to begin with is I have my paneer that's cut in big squares here. Now we're going to go ahead and add just a little bit of soya sauce in there. Now uh, with soya sauce, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, add some cornstarch to it. And once we add cornstarch, uh, for my recipe, I like to add just a little bit of um, uh, chili sauce to it. Um, it's optional. You don't have to add that if you don't want to. Um, and with this, we're just going to go ahead and add just a little bit of vinegar. Now, what we're doing is we're actually going to go ahead and um, we're actually going to go ahead and coat the paneer with this. So in a way, we're doing a marination and then we're going to go ahead and deep fry the paneer. This is going to give that crispy layer to the paneer. All right, guys. So today's recipe is also going to be a one pan recipe. Uh, what we're going to do is after we go ahead and uh, and coat our paneer with um, with chili sauce, uh, cornstarch and uh, and with some uh, some soya sauce, we're just going to go ahead and deep fry the paneer. So. In the same pan, um, I am using a wok. If you don't have a wok, um, you can just go ahead and use the regular pan, that's fine. But we're just gonna go ahead and get our paneer in there and we're gonna go ahead and deep fry the paneer. All right guys, so this is how we're gonna uh, uh, fry the paneer, uh, deep fry the paneer. Now after that, what we're gonna do, it's in the same pan uh, and in the same oil, we're gonna start with uh, going ahead and I have some uh, some ginger julienne here and add some uh, chopped uh, garlic in there. So we're gonna go ahead and um, add our ginger and garlic in there. And we're just gonna saute it just a little bit. We want to make sure that it just get tossed up a little bit. Uh, don't let it get brown, uh, just make sure just as soon as long as the uh, the strong aroma of, of uh, uh, strong aroma of ginger and garlic is gone after that we're gonna start adding other stuff to it all right now at this point what we're gonna do is uh, add some uh, uh, big squares of onions uh, bell pepper yellow pepper um, and orange paper so mixed of uh, different color papers and onions in here I'm just gonna go ahead and add that in here and we're gonna give it a quick toss. Uh, we're only gonna cook it until um, the rawness of the bell pepper and onions are gone. And then we're gonna go ahead and start adding other stuff to it. So it's gonna be a very quick recipe for you. All right guys, now at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add some green chilies to it. Um, I've just cut them in big pieces, big, uh, big circles. You can. Be fancy with it if you want to. Uh, chilies are optional. You don't have to add them um, if you uh, if you're someone that doesn't eat very spicy food. Um, I'm just gonna go out and add some chilies to it. Uh, the chilies I'm using they're not too spicy, so it's more for decoration than anything else. And um, after adding the chilies to it, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna lower the heat and we're gonna start adding all the other stuff to it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add some uh, soya sauce to it. Now again, the food I'm making, it's uh, food for about four to five people. Um, make sure that um, uh, you don't use as much as I'm using. Now with that, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of chili sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of vinegar and 
with that, I'm gonna go ahead and add a bunch of ketchup to it. Um, now the reason for adding ketchup is ketchup gives you that look um, of the food that you get at the, at the restaurant. So after adding the ketchup, we're gonna go ahead and give this a good mix, add a little bit of water to it, and uh, we're gonna start adding our onion to that. All right guys, so you want to make sure that you cook all the sauces that you're adding in there. Uh, once the sauces are cooked, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our uh, um, our paneer, our fried paneer to it. Um, now, once we add the paneer to the uh, to the dish, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and give it a good mix. Now, chili paneer is made two different ways. Uh, we can make chili paneer uh, that's dry, and we can also make chili paneer uh, that's gravy. So depending on what you're going to serve your paneer with, if you're adding, uh, if you're making dry chili paneer, then uh, then this is it. After you mix everything up, add just a tiny bit of water, cook the paneer for five minutes, and your dish is going to be ready. Now the dish that I'm making today, um, I'm actually uh, cooking the dish um, that's going to be for, um, uh, I'm going to eat it with fried rice, so I'm making the chili paneer with the gravy. So now once I mix, um, mix my paneer in there there is few things we're gonna do now at this point to make sure the paneer gets all the juices in there uh, there is one more thing we're gonna add to it at this point we're gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of sugar and then we're gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of water give it a good mix and um, we're gonna go ahead and let it cook for another uh, about a minute or so all right guys now at this point what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add uh, some cornstarch water the reason for adding cornstarch water is it's gonna go ahead and uh, make sure the whole gravy it's going to be a little bit thick for us uh, now with that we're gonna go ahead and I have some fresh onion chives here so I'm going to go ahead and add some onion chives to it. And we're going to go ahead and give it a good mix again. And after giving it a good mix, all we're going to do is just let it cook for 30 seconds just so uh, the gravy gets a little bit thicker. And then at that point, we're going to be all set. Alright guys, so this is how you want your gravy to look like when you're making uh, chili paneer with gravy. Now one thing uh, you might have noticed that the whole dish, we haven't added any, uh, any salt to it. Now the reason why we haven't added any salt is soya, salt, uh, soya sauce is usually very, very salty. Now because of that, what we want to make sure is before we go ahead and add salt we want to taste it very quick and make sure we have uh, it doesn't become too salty for us now at this point uh, for my dish it does need a little bit of salt so i'm just going to sprinkle just a tiny bit of salt to it and pretty much we're going to give it a good mix and our our dish is going to be ready all right guys so the food is ready as I mentioned earlier, this is going to be the first of the two-part recipe that I'm going to make for you. In the second part, we're going to go out and make you some chili chicken. Um, what I'm serving my recipe, uh, what I'm serving my chili paneer with is I'm going to be serving it with some fried, uh, fried rice. Um, if you haven't checked out the recipe of fried rice, um, I already have the recipe up for you guys. Go out and check it out. Um, make some fried rice. Let me know how you like this recipe. and. Uh, after the chili chicken, what would you like me to make for you? Again, the food is ready, not waiting on you. Thank you so much. Keep liking, sharing and subscribing. Until next time, I'll see you again.